another RMA fire tutorial. Talking about making sexy cloth inside of Houdini. So I've got my camera, which says Swirly Cloth, which is one of the shots on the description of this tutorial. And I have my Swirly Cloth in here. Um, it's already cached, so we can sort of see it in motion. Of course it's laggy because there is a lot of resolution and I'm showing you guys this from a laptop. But as you can see there is quite a lot of beautiful detail and stuff happening here. Okay so here's how this was made. We start off with a shoe which um, was the point of this commercial. Um, this is something that has gone through a good amount of process of, you know, photo scanning and, you know, a bunch of stuff. Um, then to set this up, I turned it into a VDB. So my VDB is set to a voxel size of 014. I mean, it really is going to change depending on what object you're using. And then it's converted into a polygon. So you can see um, that I put it through another VDB once more uh, just to get sort of that same same um, you know it's it, it just reduces the amount of polygons there's too much detail so little artifacts like this one and this one's here and I'm just gonna add time to the calculations of the simulation so I put it through one more time and as you can see it kind of blends and it kind of covers all of those little holes that I was getting. You know things like this are fine but you know this is just much faster to calculate. Okay and then um, I got rid of this hole also with a VDB. So it's just a box with, um, with a little bit of subdivisions merged and then goes through another VDB and we've got a final mesh okay uh, and what's happening next is the following let me pull this down so you guys can see so inside of this transform here's where my animation is happening Okay, uh, and this is very simple. This is just transform, sob. I have my transform and it's just moving my, my, my collision geo, which is gonna be this shoe. And then right here, this is my cloth. So I've got a grid. Then I have a UV projection on the grid. So for those of you who have never used the UV project, here's how it works. If you hit UV project, it's a really awesome way of controlling UVs when you're using cloth. Not necessarily just cloth, just like flat surfaces. So I'm going to drop down a quick shade. Um, and we're going to do quick shade. The reason why we're not seeing anything is because see the projection is looking on that way so if I rotate it we get our UVs and then if I scale it up you see that this the the sizing of our UVs um, increases so if you turn it over you see like it's literally just like projecting UVs Okay, so I'm just going to scale it down to a reasonable size. And then this is this is plugged into my texture. And I've got a bunch of different transforms transforming my grid which ends up looking something like this. Okay, and then I change the sizes, I 
move them around so we've got a little bit of variation and then I merge them here with my shoe so that I can see how how my shoe is moving through them before I run the simulation and then I've dropped the vellum vellum cloth and on my vellum cloth I've left most of the parameters to the default here on uh, my shoe is coming into the the right input my fourth um piece my whole my fourth input meaning like i mean like um my second input zero one and two so this is my collision and this is my cloth where all of my cloth is coming in then um dropping uh a vellum solver and inside of my vellum solver i've created pop force with an amplitude of 1.6 and vellum constraint properties then it's plugged into my force output and then if we hit play uh, it, it takes a little bit of time to sim but as you can see the pop force is affecting the clot so it's giving them a little bit of variation and then once my shoe hits through we get that really nice effect okay so i'm not gonna sim it just because it's you know it's pretty slow but i've got it processed right here actually the one that i have cached might be another one of the shots from this cloth piece but i can i can do another tutorial if there's a specific shot from the commercial you guys would like to see a breakdown on um go ahead and leave a comment here please so 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 there we go like we can see how nice that looks uh and then since we've already got the UVs on the top, we can we can test to see. Say I'm gonna just apply that to this one. UV quick shade. You'll see that you have the UVs that look very nice and stick to the geometry. Now the next tutorial I'm going to post will be teaching you what happens when you want to change the UVs after the simulation has taken place. Okay, so this has been another RMA Fire tutorial. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and please go ahead and leave comments or ask questions. I always do my best to reply promptly.